Hi, my name is Damian Ferrara from Mr. Stevenson's, or Stevo's, 11th grade aeronautics 3 class. When we entered this challenge, we knew for sure that it would be one to remember, and that it was. Before we begin the tour, I want to thank you for giving us this unique experience to learn all about the functions of an airport. This challenge allowed us to use a tool that we're familiar with and have fun with to build a near-perfect one-to-one scale model of Port Meadville Airport. Port Meadville is a smaller airport and more of a rural area of Pennsylvania. Although it's small compared to other airports, the actual size of this runway is still huge. It has a length of 1,524 meters and a width of 23 meters, meaning this runway can support mostly medium and small sized aircraft. Over here we have some fences that we built, and on the map there are trees behind it, but inside the runway area there are no trees because I don't know if you know this, but in order to land, there can't be trees. In order to build this model, we used a combination of maps provided to us by our good friend Mr. Goldenberkey and Google Earth. At the fall of our school shutting down, we lost around a week's worth of time to discuss how we were going to get this accomplished. Starting out, we made multiple attempts with starting a regular, non-flat world to build on and flattening a large area so that the natural beauty of this game would take a role at any background included in our airport. But with the scale that we chose and the weeks closing in, that didn't look all too realistic. So we decided to start a super flat world and settle in. Originally, we were going to brick scale to shorten the runway. But then we thought, hey, I bet a lot of other people are going to do that too. So why not break the chain and make a near perfect scale model? No skipping steps. So here we are. How do we get everything to a near perfect scale? So much math and measuring went into this that it personally started to drive me mad. Measuring for north, south, east, and west was simple. Every meter is one block. But when our taxiways break off into the hangar, they're diagonal. And the diagonal of a square meter is just not the same length as the sides of a square meter. So after having a quick and very hostile chat with Siri, my personal assistant, I found out that every diagonal of a square meter is roughly 1.414 meters. You can also find this by using the Pythagorean theorem. Now, for every meter diagonal that we built, we had to multiply it by 1.414. And your answer would be how many blocks you built out. Of course, there's some human error built into all of this, so it's not a perfect scale model by any means, but it is pretty dang close. I mean, if you open this airport up on Google Earth and look at it from the top, it looks seemingly identical to what we have here. In this hangar, we added our own touch to the place. Since we didn't have much time left over for personalization, this was mostly our last 10 minutes spent doing some fun stuff to make it look kind of wacky. In case you were wondering, we had a team of two doing all the measurements and outlining, while we had another team of two filling in all the parking lots, taxiways, buildings that were outlined by team one. Going through the modules and taking the quizzes really helped us learn the different sign uses and why the differences in designs is so significant. Because these signs are so important to navigating the airport, we wanted to make our signs as clear as day. So, we built large-scale map art. This took up the majority of our time, but we were all so happy with the results, and it was definitely worth it. For this challenge, I got to work with a team of wonderful people with a variety of interesting skills and knowledge that made the whole experience 100 times better. We had a lot of fun and learned a lot, and the final result says it all. I want to thank Mr. Stevenson on behalf of the entire Aero 3 class here at Cash for this opportunity to participate in this challenge. And I want to thank you judges or anyone else involved in making this challenge happen. It was an awesome experience. I hope you all have a very good night. Thank you so much.